one thing I really didn't like about earlier versions of Final Cut Pro uh, 10 is that you can't export ranges. And now I really like the fact that with this version, you can export ranges. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm looking at this uh, edit I'm doing. And I just want to show the client just where I'm going with it so they can see it instead of working on the entire uh, 10 minute, 9 minute edit. I need to show them a portion of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the R key or I'm just going to hit the range selection tool. And then I'm going to just either, actually before I even do that, let me just go back. And uh, I'd like to be just sure with some stuff I'm doing. I like to make compound clips with everything because as you see, I have things up here and on on the um, on the timeline. So let me listen to what she's saying. Perspective. It could cut down on the amount of litigation one experiences. So I just like how that looks. So I'm just right click, new compound clip, and I'm going to call this uh, uh, litigation. Litigation uh, compound. And then what I'm going to do for this, so all my compound clips, everything that I call compound, I'm going to put that as a compound. I'm going to put that as a smart collection. All right, so I'm going to call that compound clip. So I'm going to call that graphic compound clip, comp clips, whatever you need to do. I'm showing you a little bit more than this tutorial has, but I just want to be sure. you got to be organized. Compound. Uh, let's just call these graphics, uh, uh, graphics, Kathy. I just know where they go. So, alrighty. So let's make sure. Let's get rid of that. Graphics, Kathy. And I need that to be compound clip. So let me just make sure I get graphics, Kathy, in there. Boom, 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 boom. Location compound. I'm just going to call it Graphics Kathy, actually. Anything with a compound clip on it, I'm just going to call it Compound. All right, let's just do this. Compound. All right, we'll call this a Compound. New Smart Collection. There it is. Graphics Kathy. All right. And of course, it's not changing it because I have this. So let's delete that smart collection, and you'll see what I'm doing. Graphics, Kathy, because that's where I'm doing it. Okay, boom. And that's where she is. So I have all the graphics. Anything that's called compound, I'm going to go into graphics, Kathy. So I'm going to do this as well, and I'm going to create a new compound clip. Right click, and um, I'm going to call this uh, disability compound. And there it is. It shows up in my smart collection because I need that to be real organized. All right. So then what I want to do is I'm just going to uh, control uh, click. I'm just put a transition on those two. And this is how I edit, guys. So I'm just showing you behind the scenes how I edit. And I put placeholders there. All right. And the key is range selection. So I'm going to just view this real quick. From a legal perspective, it could cut down on the amount of litigation. I'm not too thrilled about that drop shadow. That, it looks a little crazy, so I'm going to try to fix that text, but that doesn't either here nor there. Okay. For individuals with disabilities, there may also be civil rights claims or disability rights claims that they could make um, against a landlord. All right, so I want to show the client what I did. So I'm, again, I'm going to hit range selection, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything I have here. Come on, let's go. And let's put everything down. I usually put everything as a compound clip, but let's just take this range and we're going to go file, export. Uh, we're going to do export file, right? Export file right now. Then I'm going to go to settings and then it shows me the range right here H264. Um, let me just make sure. And it shows everything you see. It shows everything. Even though I didn't select the top, the top layer, don't worry about that because when I do the bottom range, it's gonna select everything. Because at first I thought that you had to put everything in range at the bottom, but you don't. You can you see how I'm scrubbing through it. And, and you see 
how that range is there. It ends right there. So let's see if it gets that. I don't know if it, yeah, there it is. Good. It has that too, the B-roll of building. So I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit Kathy. Kathy underscore sample. Save. And boom. So and then it's going to go ahead and save to 100% and give me just what I need in that range. So uh, that's Final Cut Pro 10 quick tip with saving things in a range. Any questions, you can always uh, leave a comment below. Take care.